Now that we're less than two months away from Resident Evil 4 Remake, I figured it was a great time to reintroduce you to the 8th Castellan. In some eyes, he's seen as a hero, and in others, he's a disgrace to his ancestors. He's the second main villain in Resident Evil 4, and he loves talking to Leon every chance he gets. Ladies and gentlemen, Ramon Salazar. While playing through Resident Evil 4, players eventually reach the castle. The castle serves a significant role to the story, much like the owner himself. The castle is located above some very important ruins. It's where the remains of Las Plagas was sealed away for many centuries until Salazar excavated it. You see, Salazar at heart never wanted to be a villain in Resident Evil 4. He was tricked into believing he would become a hero, but ultimately, took a blast from a rocket launcher. Before the events of Resident Evil 4, and before he fused with the Queen Plaga, Ramon Salazar was a lonely devoted Catholic with a lot of money and a lot of property. His responsibility for being the 8th Castellan was to ensure Las Plagas remained sealed away. However, followers of Los Illuminados believed this responsibility was the greatest sin committed by Salazar's ancestors. While the local villagers loved his ancestors, the villagers were doubtful of Salazar's leadership, making him feel less adored. It was bad enough he had no family around to show him the way, making him vulnerable to the dark side. Then enters Osman Sadler, a friend, a leader, a prophet, and the master of Los Illuminados. He tells Salazar how he can atone for the sins committed by his family. Salazar realizes this is his chance to become a hero and joins Los Illuminados. At first glance, Salazar looks to be an old little person, but in fact he's 20, and he's much different from the Gonardos encountered in the village. Salazar was infected by a special parasite to allow him control over his body and of other Gonados. This special gift from Sadler was because Salazar helped revive Las Plagas and ultimately Los Illuminados. Unfortunately, after his numerous attempts to take Leon's life, he failed again and again and again. Salazar would cease to exist after getting blasted by a rocket launcher or a gun depending on how you play. Ramon Salazar was born into a responsibility he knew little of. Having his family praised for sealing away Las Plagas, he was easily convinced to join Sadler and to make himself a hero. He wanted to be praised by followers of Los Illuminados like his family was by the villagers. Resident Evil 4 Remake looks to introduce another version of Salazar, something much more sinister. Just by looking at him you can tell he's going to be memorable in a terrifying way. He seems truly evil, fully converted, and someone not to take lightly. The funniest scenes in the original were in the castle between Leon and Salazar. They had great chemistry with each other for being enemies. I hope the remake plans to keep their relationship intact. I can't wait to see how the two interact with each other. What's your favorite scene between Leon and Salazar? Comment below and let me know. And as always, survive the horror with Purple Herb.